Most people don't know that in-game Minecraft is just the tip of the iceberg. I will show you how to edit Minecraft files to access hidden secret features. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This episode of OMG Craft is brought to you by Man Packs, manly goods on a schedule. Get started today and have underwear, socks, toiletries, shaving supplies, and more delivered to your door. Visit manpacks.com slash twit to get $10 off your first order of $30 or more, or buy a $50 gift card for $40. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I am your host, Chad Johnson. Every once in a while, you need complete control of your Minecraft game. Like, let's say you're making a cool map. Uh, from wanting to make an absolutely customized world to allowing cheats in-game, NBT tag editing is what you'll use. What is NBT tag editing? Well, NBT stands for Named Binary Tags. NBT was created by Notch specifically for Minecraft. These files are hidden deep inside your world and contain all the metadata for every block, item, player, everything in game. These files can be edited and manipulated to access hidden features in the game. However, you'll need a special NBT editor installed on a computer to do so. By editing these Minecraft files, you can change simple things like world properties or much more in-depth things like creating custom villagers, custom spawners, or even making zombies six times bigger than the regular size. Giant zombies. We are going to be using a tool called NBT Explorer. It is a cross-platform uh, program, so nobody feels left out, even the Mac users like myself. So let's do something simple. This has happened to me many, many times. I created a new world and forgot to allow cheats because I'm kind of a pro and I like them cheats. So, <laughs> because pros need cheats. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to change a few properties of this world. And uh, I can't because it's just not possible because cheats are off. Let me show off uh, what, what's going on here. So here I am, and it is, I'm actually, it's raining and snowing at the same time. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to use the command toggle downfall. And it says, I do not have permission to use this command. And that is true because I have not enabled cheats on this world. What am I to do? Well, if you are a noob like I was in the beginning, you would just wait for the rain to end. But we are pros. So let's do a few things with NBT tags. First, I'm going to go ahead and save and quit out of this game. Next, I'm going to move over to our NBT Explorer. When you open this up, you are given just a single saves file. Go ahead and open that up by hitting the down arrow. And I have a few worlds. This one that I'm in, I know is called New World. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. All of this information is what your level save is. It has information about players. You can see my name and all the things associated with me in this game. The region is all of the places that I have visited, every single chunk in game. The level.dat is where things like all level properties are, in, are included. And so you can see this allow commands. You see how it's set to zero? Well, in binary, this is off or false. So let's go ahead and edit this property to allow myself to use those in-game commands. You do it by hitting Control or Command E, and you are given an extra window. Let's change this property to 1. Now I can issue commands. Let's also change a few other things while we're in here. See this raining command? It's set to 1, which means true or on. 
So let's change it to false by choosing zero. And then finally, I don't really want it to rain again in my world. So see this rain time? This is the amount of ticks until the next time it rains. Uh, just to make sure that it doesn't happen while I'm on this server ever again, let's just add a few zeros to this number. And now we can accept that as a useful number, so it probably will not rain again uh, while I am in game. So let's check out what this did. First we have to hit save, and now let's jump back into Minecraft, into my world, and hey, it's not raining. Let's see if I can fly by issuing the command game mode one. And yes, now I can fly. All things are fixed. So next, let's get into modding some extra tags, some more in-depth tags, some pro tags. But first, man packs. You need things delivered to you or given to you every single day. But finding time to do this is difficult. Sports, business meetings, uh, your wife talking to you, your friends wanting to hang out and be friends. Jeez. Finding these products takes time, and I need things like underwear, socks, good face scrub, and naturally sh natural shaving cream all the time. But man, do I not want to spend time and effort to look for these things. I want them practically given to me on a silver platter, and that's what Man Packs does. The selection and service at Man Packs are top notch. That is why I prefer them above all those other online shops that I have to search for a good product to buy. Everything on their website is awesome. They also have really easy ways to find everything you're looking for. Everything is in categories. If I need socks, I just go to the sock category. I use Man Packs because it's zero hassle and I know exactly what I'm going to get every single time they deliver. They also have a great no hassle uh, return policy. So if I, for some reason, got something that wasn't my size, I just send it back to them. With Man Packs, I get cool new gear every three months. It's like Christmas just for those goods that I need all the time. We have two exclusive offers for you, the listener. So visit manpacks.com slash twit and you can get $10 off your first order of $30 or more or buy a $50 gift card for that special guy in your life, and you only have to spend 40 bucks on it. So visit manpacks.com slash twit and get started today. We thank Manpax so much for their support of OMG Craft. Okay, so now we have done a little bit of hard editing. Here's some stuff we can do if we really want to get into it. This is where it can get super complex. So, we will not be uh, covering how to do all of these things in episode, especially as we get further and further into the episode. But if you would like to know how everything we do is and how it's done, I suggest that you visit the wiki. It contains lots of info so that you can get started with all of this uh, editing. So, let me go ahead and create a world and show you what we're going to do. So here we are in a very simple world, and I have a dispenser with a single arrow in it. My uh, goal here is going to make sure that this dispenser never, ever, ever runs out of arrows. Now, for just for future reference, what I'm going to need is a few things up here in the corner. You can see on my X coordinate, there is a C with a colon, and then next to it, the number 11. On my Z coordinate, there is a C with a colon and next to it, the number 16. Just remember this for later. Next, let's head on over to NBT Explorer and this is the world that I am in. I'm going to have to go down to my region area and all of these regions is where every single block data is held. I need to know which one of these has the chunk with the dispenser in it because our goal is to get that dispenser to dispense unlimited arrows. And the way, and as you can see just by thumbing through this, the, there's a lot of chunks in here and finding them is very, very difficult. So we're going to use a uh, algorithm that will be in our show notes. 
This equation is what we will be using to find out which chunk that dispenser is held in. So I'm gonna go back to the game of Minecraft and remember those numbers that I was asking you to remember. Negative 11 and 16. Well, we are going to plug this in to the format. Negative 11 and y was 16. Same thing over here. Negative 11, y was 16. Now, once we run this, and we're of course using the wonderful service Wolfram Alpha, it will give us an output. And that output will have four different variables. Those variables are going to be what we use to go back into NBT Explorer to find where that dispenser is living. This results area is what we really want to be looking at. See that negative 1, 0, then 21, 16. So we're going to jump back over to NBT Explorer and find negative 1, 0, which is, happens to be the first one. For you, it may not be. And then this one, this one has tons and tons of chunks in here. And that's what the second output is, this 21, 16. So we're going to scroll all the way down here to chunk 2116, 2116. There we go, we're gonna drop that one down and you can see there's nine entries and one of them is this tile entity and that is the dispenser. There's five entries in here and you can see that inside it's a, you know, you can see a few things like what is its coordinate, um, what is its ID, and then inside, it has some items because it has an internal inventory as well. And this it, uh, tells you the ID of the item, the damage value, the slot, and the count. This is what we are going to change to get unlimited arrows. We're going to hit Control E or Command E, and we're going to set this to negative 1. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to go ahead and save this and show you, and we're just, I'm just backing all the way out of here. Go back in here and enter the world again, because I closed out just to make sure it was fine. And there's still only one arrow inside of here, but this is a magic trick. This is an illusion. If I grab a lever and some redstone, place some redstone behind it and take this lever and throw it down. Whoops, I missed the redstone. It will continuously shoot out arrows as many times as I want. We've already gotten three out. There's a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh. This is pure redstone magic, and that is only achieved through the NBT editing. Now, that was probably extremely complicated for you. Yes, NBT tags are extremely complicated. But the control that you give you that they give you is absolutely amazing. So to show off some extra things that we can do in the world without going through how to change absolutely every tag, let me show off a world that we created. So here we are. You can see some crazy, crazy stuff on the ground. We got wool that's just running all around like, like animals. This one's just moving in circles. But this one over here, he's going crazy. He's like jumping all over the place. Uh, we got a, we got a slime with the cow riding a mushroom riding the slime. We have we <laughs> we just had a witch a, a a cow on a witch run out of nowhere. We have a sheep and an enderman, and uh, my favorite we have a cat that has some fleas uh, with you know he, he's he's got some silverfish on him. He likes running away from me. Um, and this is all done with NBT tag editing. Uh, we even have this weird looking uh, torch right here. So what's actually going on is uh, down here we have a few mine carts on uh, some, some rail and these have been edited to display wool um, above them. And so that's why we are getting this moving wool stuff. All of these are uh, animals riding other animals, which was uh, introduced recently. Uh, same thing with this. And we even have player heads. So we have a cheetah, oop, oh, there we go, a cheeto, a T2, and, uh, and me here. And that is all done with NBT tag 
editing. That is it for this episode of OMG Craft. It was jam-packed with information. I hope that this has taught you a little bit about how Minecraft works. If you enjoy these episodes, make sure that you subscribe at youtube.com slash OMG Craft or head on over to iTunes and search for OMG Craft. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on another episode. Oh.